All right, FD here, 492W, looking at our last CPD, number 12, talking about our strategic plan and evaluations, and then last with Major Stick, stories and the epilogue there. All right, with CPD number 12, key points here, we're looking at a strategic plan and some evaluation, evaluation methods. Key piece you're going to want to do here, and I'll give you a great link and resource is doing your location analysis. Uh, what we're focusing on is where the industry will evolve. So you're looking at uh, future considerations, what it's going to differentiate you from other businesses. And then last with Major Stick, we're talking about stories with our marketing. I would add one last one to the S. Um, you should sell then, your whole marketing plan should sell the reader um, in that business plan. Uh, not only your old business plan, but that marketing plan specifically. Lastly, use the epilogue. It does a great job of wrapping up, giving you some ideas of how a quick review, um, but then application then to project six. Then when we get into health law last time, uh, it's a wrap up of health law. You want to communicate the, core, the, communicate the core, keeping it simple, but making it stick. So last evaluation here, what are the benefits of the Affordable Care Act? in consideration with your business. Again, focus on the positives. Um, you wanna know what the negatives are, but in your marketing plan, you wanna talk about the positives of the reforms of health law and how it's impacted your business in particular and then small businesses in general. So wrap up here, benefits of the Affordable Care Act. You wanna know what the negatives are. We can make that our staff education, but what we wanna do with customer service is focus and marketing on the positives. In regards, to, in regards to small business, how specifically can you apply those positives and benefits in health law, keeping it simple to your customer and then also in your benefits plan for your staff. So when we get into evaluation, you're gonna to have to do this for project six, all of these areas right here. You wanna revisit your business goals and uh, objectives again. This all should align with your purpose and your specific strategies or objectives to get that done. You want to revisit your target population demographics. So by now you should know exactly you have a specific uh, city or area you put your facility in. You want to know what the average age is, what's the range, socioeconomics of that target area, and then some other statistics. If you go to this link, datausa.io, it's an incredible resource. I've got it on Canvas there also um, that you're going to want to use for Project 6. And I'll answer all of these questions. Great reference and with very great credibility. So the workshop's real easy here. Let's go ahead and do that. Look at your facility location, select that now, and then look at those demographics using this link. Um, what you wanna talk about here is what's the average age or what's the age range of your main clients that you're gonna get. What I'm talking about range is you typically uh, don't want to go more than a, a range of 20 minutes or 20 miles outside of getting to your facility. Again, it's uh, human nature with all of us. We want to have the path of least resistance to go do either the workout or to get the uh, medical health attention we need. So look at that. You also want to look at the socioeconomics. They should fit and align with that. Good example is if you're a sports performance facility, that's working with high school kids training for college, then you would want to pick an area uh, that's got within that range, that 20, 20 mile circle, um, where there's high schools that are going to have the economics to pay for that sports performance. Okay. Um, health centers. If you are uh, a facility that wants to have partnerships with different health centers to make it efficient and effective for your customer, and again, pick a demographic or range area of that. And then last, if your clients are gonna be needing to use public transportation, then look at uh, the area that's um, got some quality public tra transportation when you do that. So those are just areas you need to cover. But again, that link is a great place to start. Again, we wanna to start to think about our expansion, where we're going, some future plans or goals of the business. And the first place to start there is not to do what you wanna do, but what you need and what the future trends in the industry are gonna tell you are the needs. That'll give you the direction to go. So look at some new technology. I've got some great resources there and examples for that. 
that could have impacts. Look at niche markets. Again, unique areas, some additional profit centers that may turn into your number one revenue generator. And then most importantly, look at what you think are going to be the needs of new customers that you could bring into with those that location analysis. And then look at, as always, always talk, customer service starts with retention. Um, what would be some of their needs? So again, look at, again, future technology, future trends, niche markets, and ways to hit those needs of those current customers. So it's a very future vision. Connect the dots here. Uh, make it stick and prepare for questions. Have those ready to go. Stories, last one. Uh, this is very powerful. Again, stories um, give you a picture, give you a vision, give you an idea. If, if you've ever been around uh, someone who's a great storyteller, it's easy not only to sit and really actually listen to them and focus, but it then it sticks with you too. So it provides that stimulation and it's inspirational. It motivates you to act in some way. So again, it's a great way to defeat the curse of knowledge. And again, it kind of embodies the whole success framework. So with the epilogue, again, it goes through and talks about what sticks. I like this. Uh, it kind of expands on making an idea stick. When you're designing a business, you're actually designing an idea for a customer. And so you, this gives you a communication framework to maybe make that idea stick with people. I like another part. They talk about Simpsons and solutions. I use this in my consulting all the time. And then last, sticky advice, a talking strategy, teaching that sticks and unsticking an idea. Again, last one, the S, the small S that they don't talk about, my, uh, um, is sell in that. So again, talk about how you're gonna sell it at the end. It's a great finish and kind of wrap up to your marketing plan and those six principles at that seventh sell. So workshop, real quick, look at those future plans and goals of the business. Try to do some quick research. Maybe those sites can get you started there. Look at some future trends in the industry. Look at some new technology. Again, you have monopoly money. I would encourage you to go ahead and use new and futuristic technology in your business. It creates a great uh, marketing niche for you right there. Look at those niche markets. What are some new areas maybe in the health industry? Direction it's gonna go. Great example is everything that's happened in 2020 with COVID in our health industry, in education, work markets, everything, how we work, we act, we live, we communicate, we interact is gonna change. What are some of the niches there? What are some needs of new customers? And then again, retention needs of current customers.